Welcome to the WHHI TV Daily News. I'm Betsy McDaniel. As usual, there's a lot to talk about today, so let's get started with our headlines. Well, aside from Mar-a-Lago, a place that former President Trump seems to feel very comfortable is South Carolina. After his Thursday appearance in court in Washington, D.C., Trump will head home for a bit, then it's on to Columbia to be the keynote speaker at the state Republican Party's Silver Elephant Dinner Saturday night. Earlier this summer, following his classified documents arraignment, he once again headed to the Palmetto State for a well-attended rally in Pickens. A Fox Business poll in July showed Trump with 48% from South Carolina Republicans, with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Governor Nikki Haley, and Senator Tim Scott, all with about 12% support. An unfortunate sign of the times was a part of your morning north of the Broad earlier this week when first responders, the Beaufort County School District security personnel, and Beaufort Memorial Hospital engaged in active shooter drills. There was a larger than normal police and EMS presence around Ladies Island Middle School, Beaufort High, and Beaufort Memorial Hospital. This year's training included a parent-student reunification scenario and a mock patient surge at the hospital. Over the last several months, a group of community members who want to ban a number of books in Beaufort County School Libraries has been pretty vocal. However, there seemed to be little organized support from those who want the books left alone. But at this week's school board meeting, nearly 60 attendees, all wearing white with a Support Educator sticker on them, spoke during the public comment section under the title Families Against Book Bans. They claim to have been organized since January to support teachers and battle against banning books from the school libraries. You might remember back in the spring when the Technical College of the Low Country, or TCL, decided it wanted to have a mascot even though it has no sports teams. The school invited public input and has picked Tides as the mascot over three other finalists which included Jumbo Shrimp, Loggerheads, and Tomatoes. The school says Tides represent students coming in, growing, and then going out into the world. And of course, they are an integral part of Low Country life. Students at TCL can expect to see t-shirts and other merchandise with the new mascot this fall and a costume one cavorting around campus next year. Another one of our area's longest serving storytellers is getting out of the broadcasting business. WTOC's Doll Kennedy is changing jobs after 27 years in TV, most of it based in Statesboro, taking over as the communications director in Bullock County. His last day on air at WTOC will be September 1st. And we are coming up on tax-free weekend this Friday through Sunday, and experts say any help battling continued inflation will drive more people to spend more than ever. South Carolina shoppers bought $26 million worth of tax-free items last year, saving $1.5 million. Besides school supplies and computers, clothing, bed linens, and shoes are included, though cosmetics, jewelry, furniture, and eyewear are not. You can get a complete list from dor.sc.gov slash tax-free weekend. The media sources on your screen will have more on these and other stories, and we would love for you to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at WHHITV. And if you have an idea for a news story, we'd love to hear it, so drop us a line at news at WHHITV.com. And Justin Jarrett is off again today, so we'll hand it over to Maria for the weather. Thanks, Betsy. Yep, so taking a look ahead, as we know, hurricane season is just starting to ramp up, and that means we're going to see a lot more storms rolling through our area in the coming weeks. So taking a look at Friday, it's going to be cloudy with a couple of heavy thunderstorms throughout the day and into the evening. Hillness give a high of 83, a low of 77. Bluffton's give a high of 83, a low of 77. And Buford's give a high of 84 and a low of 76. The sunrise for Friday is going to be at 639 and sunset is going to be at 817. Taking a look at the beach tides, high tides going to be at 12.07 p.m. and low tides going to be at 7.15 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week and into the weekend, Saturday is going to be sunny to partly cloudy, again with scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon and into the evening. Highs in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s. Come Sunday, it's going to be cloudy with scattered thunderstorms throughout the afternoon, but should be clearing up by the evening. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. And then come Monday, it's going to be cloudy with showers in the morning, but should be clearing up by the afternoon. Highs in the 90s, lows in the upper 70s. That's it for today. Let's head back to the desk. Thanks, Maria. After a short break, Robin Zimmerman sits down with United Way of the Low Country. Don't go away. <laughs> 